Heather has been hatching a sinister plan to exact revenge on her secret biological mother Marilyn ever since she came to Summer Bay. But now, as Heather takes Elf, Rue, Irene and Leah hostage too, it's not just Marilyn whose life is in danger. Secluded and alone, will they all make it out alive? This week in Home and Away, Marilyn, Emily Simons, is relieved when Heather, Sophie and Nolan, returns to the bay. Desperate to make amends, she comes clean about breaking into Leah's, Ada Nicodemu, home and wants to apologize for her behavior by inviting Marilyn's friends to a fancy brunch. Keen to foster a relationship with her daughter, Marilyn is overjoyed. Marilyn is really happy that Heather wants to repair things because she was so panicked when Heather left with no farewell, Emily Simons tells TV Week. She wants to repair the damage that she has done, and establish that mother-daughter bond. While Heather takes Marilyn to an old sandstone mansion in the countryside, digital invites are sent out to Alf, Raymar, Rue, Georgie Parker, Irene, Lynn McGranger, and Leah. Rue is a bit confused when she receives the invite, Georgie Parker admits. But she goes because Maz will be there, and she's concerned about her friend. Leah is equally as confused, and gives Marilyn a call to clarify. But when Marilyn's phone rings, Heather snatches it out of her hand aggressively. It's at that moment that Marilyn realizes Heather never wanted to develop a relationship. She wants revenge. Before she knows it, Heather dishes out a blow to the head, knocking Marilyn out cold. When she wakes, she's tied to a chair in a secluded room. As her reality sinks and she's horrified and confused, already wondering how this nightmare scenario is going to end. On a screen in front of her, Marilyn watches on as her friends arrive on CCTV footage while Heather welcomes them warmly with a glass of champagne, that has been secretly laced with sleeping pills. When they arrive not only is the venue rather opulent and strange, but Maz is nowhere to be found, Georgie shares. Heather is also acting strangely. So, everyone is bemused and concerned. It's not long before the spike drinks take hold. When the group regain consciousness, they find themselves bound to their chairs and unable to break free. But the terror truly begins when the medication inflames Alf's heart condition, and his breathing becomes short and shallow. When Rue notices Alf's breathing becoming labored, she panics but tries to stay calm. He has heart issues and it's very dangerous, Georgie says. Ignoring the group's pleas to let Alf go, a manic Heather drags Marilyn sobbing and terrified into the dining room and orders her to confess her deep, dark secret, Heather is her daughter. Alf, Irene and Rue are shocked, but their reaction isn't enough for a vengeful Heather. She wants Marilyn to suffer for abandoning her all those years ago. Watching Alf's condition worsen, she realizes that his death would be the ultimate way to turn Marilyn's friends against her forever. A clever Rue catches on to Heather's plan, pretending to sympathize with her, but it's no use. While the hostages are losing hope, back in Summer Bay Justin has a suspicion that something is awry when he can't get in contact with Leah. But when he notices that Leah, Irene and Marilyn are no-shows at the diner, it's the final straw. At the police station, he comes clean to Rose and Cash, revealing that Heather is Marilyn's daughter. With new evidence, they check Heather's home address and find her mother's body stashed in a freezer. Now, with damning evidence against her, Rose, Cash and Justin are petrified, 